Okay, gang, confession time. Growing up, I wasn't the biggest fan of school, and when it came to subjects like geography, I felt more like this kid than these. The fun of it is that you get to be on camera and doing all this stuff because you get to see other, you get to see where other people live, and then you get to like try to figure out where they're at. And that's the mystery. Uh -huh. You get to learn about the state yeah. and have fun, like. Yeah, you get to like be on camera and talk to other. Yeah, yeah, it's like after, the it's like after the, like, about the state. Uh huh. It's like after we solve our clue, we get to see if they're like by any like famous places. That's yeah. like the fun about it. Yeah. Uh huh. You can see if they're by like really cool places. Let me introduce you to Kim Powell. Kim teaches fourth grade over at Douglas Road Elementary. And when I visited her classroom, I realized that this was the kind of class I would have really loved to have been in as a kid. Because what she does is she takes a subject like geography, which at least in my case was very worksheet and bookwork heavy. And what she does is she turns that into something that's fun and meaningful and real for her students by using a free video conferencing tool called Skype. Now this video that you're going to see is made up of two parts. The first part is just a, a collection of clips from an interview that Kim and I did where she's talking about an activity that she does called Mystery Skype. The second part is a short explanation by Kim of just how you can get started using Skype in your own classroom. As always, I hope this sparks some great ideas and enjoy. Technology really impacts and motivates them and engages them in their learning. So I wanted to use those great things that inspire them and place them in the classroom with our content. So when I found out about this wonderful game called Mystery Skype through a teacher on ePals asked if I would like to participate in a state Skype, I immediately jumped on board to try Skype. And what we did was we set up our clues. We, our students researched the clues based on the state of Michigan. And what's one of our content is areas is to explore these clues about Michigan. So we researched and created a PowerPoint about Michigan and we were ready to share our clues. And so we got on board and started Skyping and shared our clues and that just had such an impact on my class. They were engaged, they were collaborating, they were connecting with others, and it was such a powerful experience that it was contagious and I wanted to do it more. I want to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to participate in the Skype because they're all so excited, they want to be engaged, they want to, to contribute. So all of them have roles in the classroom and we take turns with those roles so that everybody has the opportunity to change roles and experience the whole concept of the Mystery Skype. So students are engaged by choosing to be a blogger, writing on the kid blogs the clues that we're exchanging. We have mystery solvers that use graphs and maps to solve the clues. We also have clue presenters who share the clues that they have researched. We also have back channelers, which they weren't here on that time that you were here, but um, where they will engage in conversations with other students. And we also have photographers and videographers to capture the moment so that we can look at this information later and share it and see what we've learned, what things surprised us, and things that we want to learn more about in the future. Once we started doing the Mystery Skype, they wanted to do more states and they wanted to find out more and so they kept asking me if I would schedule more Skype so they could learn about them. So we have a map in the back of our classroom where we put pins where of all the locations that we have Skyped with or make connections via Skype. And so as we started doing those pins, the students were fascinated about learning the borders of certain states to give them clues. We started picking up, using our iPad, we played um, Stack the States and using the clues that they've learned through the mystery Skypes or by finding information from Stack the States they're applying that knowledge to our new uh, mystery Skypes which is very exciting. So geography has taken on a whole new meaning in our classroom where once was just looking at pages of a book is now become students that they've connected with. We had, when we connected the other day to Washington one of my students said oh I have cousins in Washington and I wonder where if they know where this school is and so now they wanted to go home and call their cousins to see if they knew where the school was that we connected to in Washington. So it continues to build and explore and expand which is so fun. Today when we connected with South Carolina some of the students have gone there on vacation and wanted to know where in relation that school was to where they went on vacation. So they're building and connecting the knowledge that they have with their prior knowledge and it's just building a great community of learners in our classroom. 
ever been a deterrent away from the curriculum at all. If anything, it's extended our cur curriculum, it's extended our learning, and expanded into other areas that I never dreamed that we would be talking about. For example, when we talked to Washington the other day, they mentioned the Sleeping Giants, where my students have never learned about the Sleeping Giants or thought of that reference as for volcanoes. And so that was a very powerful experience for them. So they went home and wanted to research about the Sleeping Giants. So it's not just happening in the classroom, but they're going home and they're finding the information and then coming back and sharing it with us in class. Hi, my name is Kimberly Powell. Welcome to Skype in the classroom. What is Skype? Skype is a free video conferencing tool that was founded in 2003. I began using it in my classroom two years ago and have loved it ever since. What are the benefits to Skype? Skype allows students to connect and engage with their content by flattening the classroom walls. Students have conversations and discussions with other students, authors, and experts throughout the world. Your students will collaborate with other students, think critically, problem solve, and make connections. Even though we may live miles apart, we are learning the same curriculum in math, science, social studies, and language arts. A Skype call equals a learning call. We begin by activating prior knowledge. We engage, discover, and learn about other experiences. We are learning through reflecting, creating, and connecting through our content. What do I need for Skype? Internet access, an internal or external camera, internal or external microphone, and you're ready to download Skype online. How do I get started? Set up a Skype account online for free. Make sure to share your Skype address with others to start connecting in your professional learning network. Connecting with other educators is very simple. One of the ways that I started was using Skype in the classroom. Many educators are sharing projects and are looking for others to participate in their classrooms. There's also Around the World in 180 Days, which is a geographical activity that you can use in your classroom. You can also use Twitter. By following your grade level hashtag, you can find other teachers that are in your grade level that you can Skype with. Our fourth grade chat on Twitter started a Mystery Skype wiki, which shares geographical game of Mystery Skype. There's also Skype for educators who are looking to share other ideas online. One of the things we have the opportunity to do is to Skype with an author. Students can connect to authors of their favorite stories. Skypeanauthor.wetpaint.com is a way to locate authors or can even email them to set up a time that you can connect via Skype in your classroom. They will take you through the process, how the idea got started, and the journey of creating the book. It's a very powerful experience for the students. Mystery Skype is one of our favorite learning activities in our classroom. It's a geographical learning activity. Students lear learn about landforms, landmarks, climate, and much more. Our social studies content comes alive with Mystery Skype. What is Mystery Skype? Two classes connect on Skype. Each class shares 10 clues about their location. We reciprocate the clues, and after 10 clues, each class guesses the mystery location. We have many different roles to keep the students actively engaged in the Mystery Skype game. We have bloggers where the students will write on their kid blogs to share the clues online. We have mystery solvers who use graphs and atlases to try and solve the clues of the mystery state. We have 10 presenters that share the clues about our state. We also have photographers, videographers, and Google Earth researchers that help us along in the process. We've even started using back channelers using today's Meet or Edmodo to have conversations while the Skype is taking place. Some of the mystery clues that you can use are the bodies of water, landforms, vacation spots, famous people, animals, and historical facts about your state. And these are only to name a few. Skype has been a very engaging and powerful experience in my classroom. It's a wonderful learning activity and tool that you can use to empower your students to dig deeper into their learning. So I hope this Remsley Connected Educator Series showcase on Kim and how she uses Skype in her classroom 
gave you some ideas about how you might tweak it to make it work for your own situation. As always, we look forward to bringing more of these to you in the future. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at connecteducator at remc.org. And we'll see you back here soon.